Hello and welcome to part 5 of my Win UAE guide. So in this video we're going to be talking all about controllers and uh, we're going to look at how to customize the setup. So you may have been playing some games, you might have used the keyboard to control it at the moment or you may have got a controller that's just worked out of the box and that's great. But if your controller for some reason doesn't work or you want to cu customize it in some way then uh, follow along on this video and hopefully I can help you. So we've got our WinUAE uh, loaded up. If we go to configurations we're just going to load up our standard A1200 and then onto floppy disks I'm going to load up Toekan 2 as an example game. Uh, drive is on full speed there and then the next part what we're going to do is we're going to look at game ports so this is under our host section so this is the PC side of things uh, we go to game ports and then this shows us what's going to be plugged into each port now on an Amiga there was two ports port one was mainly for the mouse which is what it's set up with at the moment and then port two is uh, where the joystick normally goes so uh, at the moment we've got keyboard layout A so, so that's using the numeric keypad and using uh, the fire button as number 5 uh, we've got another option as well we've got keyboard layout B which is the cursor keys and using the right control key um, but I've got plugged into my PC at, at the moment a Xbox 360 controller so I can choose that and out of the box that should work pretty good for most games so uh, let's load up the game and as you can see I've got my Xbox 360 controller here so I've got Toekan 2 uh, loaded up at the moment so um, let's click uh, the A button and that's my Fire 1 button Just wait for the game to load. Okay, and I can use the thumbstick to move around. If I press A, hold down on A, I get the special weapon. So at the moment, I haven't got any auto fire at the moment. Um, and I can push up, I can use the D pad as well. Oh, I've got to shoot this guy. That was a close one. Uh, so yeah, I can use the D-pad or I can use the analog stick. So you can use any kind of controller really. Um, I have a, another controller. I've got a 8-bit um, uh, do controller as well. I recommend this. This is a really nice controller. Um, but yeah, any controller that you've got really, uh, sh as long as USB, uh, should work. Uh, so at the moment brilliant I can play games this is great but what if I want to use uh, auto fire in this game um, if we press F12 and then I want to uh, then enable auto fire what I can do is go to under port 2 select auto fire click OK if I push the button again you'll see yeah we've got a auto fire yeah I can't use that uh, special uh, ability at all okay but we can also modify this a little bit more what if like with Toekan, um I don't want to use auto fire all the time okay so I want to set up uh, different buttons to do different things on my controller from from the standard setup so um, at the moment we've got controller Xbox 360 selected um, now we need to choose custom one because I want a different button layout we can't modify the Xbox 360 one that's like predefined here so if we go to custom one and then go to remap and then test and then we've got a list of all of the actions that we can do so uh, we need to set up the left so I double click on that move left double click there go right uh, 
double click up, go up, down, and then the fire button, I want to use A. But remember, I also want it to be button three as well. So I double click again and use X. There we go. And you can see button one and button three do the same thing. Now, uh, the important thing is that I want button three to be an auto fire. If, so if I select it and then go down to here, auto fire, and then I choose auto fire from the options. There we go. It's got it in brackets. So button one is just a normal fire button. And then button three is my auto fire button. So we can exit out of that now and then make sure that custom one's still selected. It is. Click OK. And then in token, I can still move about and everything. Or if I hold down A, yep, that's working as intended. So that's without auto fire. If I press X and hold it down, there we go. That's my auto fire. So there we go. That's pre-configured. So you can choose any button at all. You don't have to use the X key. You could even use maybe uh, the shoulder buttons at all on the Xbox controller. So it's totally up to you. You can customize it however you want. So thank you for watching. Hope, hopefully this has been useful to you. And uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, please give a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.